So just to spout off some statistics about mental health and mental illness um, that's relevant to the conversation, I think it's about one in five American adults suffer from some kind of mental illness, mm -hmm. and the most popular of which are anxiety and depression. Um, so I'm curious, you know, what have you seen in your patients, in your practice to be, and I guess in your research as well, the most common cause of anxiety and depression? The thing I don't think it is is like a Zoloft deficiency disorder. I don't right. think that people are really born with that and that we just happen to live at a time where we have a perfect medication to treat this genetic issue. I, I think that it's so much more complicated. I think genetics play a role, but that's just, that's what they, they play a role. Um, genetics are, I think of it much more like a predisposition, um, and then there's always an environmental influence, and that can be everything from how you're eating or how you're sleeping or whether your gut ecology is out of balance all the way to like are you burned out and stressed in your life, are you grounded in a positive community, do you have good relationships, so it all matters.